This video is going to cover a few things, war paints from top to least liked, which weapons people want the most for them, and how the community feels about paints in general. That being said, let's begin. These are the most favorite war paints from top to bottom out of 1,192 votes. Starting at the top, 13.9% at Star Crossed, 9.9 .9 Freedom Wrapped, 9.8 Fire Glazed, 6.4 Merc Stained, 5.7 Macaw Masked, 5.3 Kill Covered, 4.9 Dream Piped, 4.5 Pizza Polished, 4.4 Quack Canvassed, 4.3 Clover Camoed, 4.2 Bank Rolled, 4.0 Tiger Buffed, 3.8 Park Pigmented, 3.6 Bloom Buffed, 3.4 Yeti Coated, 3.4 Bonk Varnished, 2.5 Cardboard Boxed, 1.4 Anodized Aloha, 1.3 Banana Peeled, 0.9% Leopard Printed, 0.8 Sax Waxed, 0.5 Pina Polished, 0.5 Croc Dusted, and 0.5 Bamboo Brushed. Whew! Next, I asked players to choose their top five weapons that they would like to apply a skin to. The top five results are thus. 29% at Rocket Launcher, 25.7% at the Shotgun, 25.1% at the Black Box, 23% at the Scatter Gun, and I think of course 21% for the Holy Mackerel. Now, how do people feel about Mark II paints in Team Fortress 2? Well, as it turns out that roughly 66% of players are totally fine with older skins making return on newer weapons. Only 27% of players are indifferent to Mark IIs, and 7% of players believe that they should not exist. When I asked them if every item should become paintable in the game, or rather every weapon item, a small shift in opinion happened. 71% of players thought that they should, meaning that almost 100 voters decided that they did care, and a small growth of 9.3% of players thought that this should not be the case. The good news is, for paint enthusiasts at least, that roughly 85% of people feel positive about war paints, the addition of it. 17.5% of people would rather sell their favorite war paint of choice if given a stat track or unusual or whatever for their own reasons, while the remaining percent of players would rather choose to keep it or put it on their favorite weapon. Now, hopefully the community can get some good information out of this. I hope that this will help traders and the community make informed decisions about people will probably want to go out and what people will pay and trade for. That being said, thank you all so much for watching. Please, have a good day and have fun trading.